Hey everybody, it's Jason Creel and you're watching the Lawn Care Life. Today, I want to show you how to kill or control the wild violet in your lawn. Today's video is sponsored by Graham Spray Equipment. If you want a spray tank on your truck like the one I have pictured behind me, then call Graham Spray Equipment. They are in Douglasville, Georgia, or you can visit them at GrahamSE.com. All right, so let's take a look at wild violet, okay? And this is a tough weed. Um, and you guys might recognize it if you, you've been in, in the business for a while or maybe even a homeowner and you it, It's pretty easy to recognize because it's got a, a heart-shaped leaf I mean and then it, it comes out and it puts out a, a purple flower. I think in the springtime I don't see any blooms on this right now But it can be a weed that can really take over a lawn. I mean you get a lot of it This is kind of exposed in the sunlight seems like sometimes it does a little better if if it's in a, a slightly shadier area. But this is wild violet, okay? So we've identified it. You see what it looks like. Now I'm gonna give you some options to control it. Now one reason this weed uh, has become something that I've, I've focused on and tried to learn about is because I actually lost a customer about two years ago. I had a customer and I thought his yard was making good progress. He hadn't been a customer long, but he fired me. And I believe the reason he fired me is because of wild violet. I didn't get rid of the wild violet in the back yard as fast as he wanted me to so I wanted to to learn how to control it and I've tried out some different products and another tough weed you're going to see sometimes is called ground ivy and I've had situations where the yard would have a lot of ground ivy and wild violet mixed together and I use a product called change up which is a, a great product a product I like a lot and what I noticed was the change up was awesome for the ground ivy or the creeping charlie but didn't do so much on the wild violet and so uh, I began going through some of the other products that I use. I use a, a product called Blindside, and it, it will have some effect on um, wild violet. But the other day, what I noticed um, after talking with some people, I was saying, hey, you know, what do you use? And, and again, I'm going to uh, clarify here. I'm in Alabama, so we deal mostly with warm season turf, but I'm also talking about cool season turf. And they said, uh, you know, for warm season turf, you're going to want to use a product that has quinclorac in it. Now, when we think of quinclorac, it's typically what we use as a post immersion for crabgrass. So I got a product called Drive Accelerate. I got another product called Q-Ball. You got um, Solitaire. Those all have quinclorac in them. And what I noticed the other, uh, actually today, I was out looking at a customer's yard. And it's one I had, had sprayed as a, a late customer that signed up like in, March after the crabgrass had probably already germinated in our area. It was a very weedy lawn and I sprayed it with quinclorac as well as a, a, a three-way product to try to kill broadleaf weeds but the quinclorac hopefully to be able to knock out the crabgrass that's already germinated I put prodiamine in there with it to in case some of the crabgrass hadn't germinated yet. Well I go back today for round two to look at it is actually my round three but round two on this yard um, to look at it and guess what the uh, wild violet was not doing well. And I, you know, I thought, well, there you go. It's uh, the quinclorac is, is really taking its toll on there. So what we're gonna do today is spray the wild violet, some of the area that has it, and then we're gonna leave some of it untreated. And then we're just gonna watch it and see how well it does. And, and let me say this, for cool season grasses, I think, uh, you know, if you, if, if you wanna use quinclorac, if that's labeled for your grass type, great. Um, sure Power is another product that is supposedly great uh, for both Creeping Charlie and Wild Violet in a sh uh, cool season lawn. So, of course, when check the label on all this, wear your PPE, but let's get started spraying and then we will keep track of the results in this video. All right, got my rubber gloves, glasses, rubber boots, long sleeve shirt, long pants, all the regular get up. And of course, I'm spraying in this situation, I'm just spraying a, a a small area of it. I don't have it mixed up in my small tanks. My backpack sprayers on the other side. I actually got it in my big gram spray tank. And the reason is because, like I said, if I get a new customer, I go out there and spray quinclorac on their yard to try to knock out some crabgrass. So it's already mixed up in my big tank. Um, so that's what we're going to use, even though we're just spraying a small area of it. And so let's crank it up, and we will get started with the short application.
I told you that'd be short. Let me turn this, the engine off. Now, this on the other side of this little driveway, there's tons of wild bile over here. And this is what I'm gonna leave untreated, okay? So we're not gonna spray this, and I did spray what was on the other side of the driveway. So let me uh, show you in, um, you, you heard me mention the cue ball herbicide here, and you see there it, it has the, the quinclorac in there under the active ingredient. So this is 64 ounces, and it's um, 64 ounces per one acre. So that's the rate I've got it mixed up in the tank. Like I said, I don't have the salts here with me at the moment or drive accelerate, but they both have a quinclorac in it as well. So if just spot, you can spot treat or like I said, in this situation, you got it mixed up in the big tank. All right, we'll come back soon and check on the results and see how fast and how effective this truly works on wild violet. So it's been about a week since the initial application on the wild violet with quinclorac. Let's see what's happened. I'm gonna show you first some untreated wild violets, and then I'm gonna go show you the ones that's been sprayed so we can see the difference. Well, what does it look like if it's not been treated? It looks like just like it did before. You see there's wild violets all in here, heart-shaped leaf, pretty easy to identify. They will make a purple flower later on. And then let's go over here and check out the ones that have been sprayed see what what's happened now these are not a, a super fast weed to die all right so you see what we got lots of curling and twisting and it's not happy weeds now it's also taking its toll on some of these other weeds as well and I, I had a three-way product in the in the mix also the three-way i don't think is is a product called tripa i don't think it's doing much at all to the wild bile i think it's the clean chlorac you can see some serious twisting and curling going on so it's definitely taking its toll on a tough weed and we're going to check back and follow up on, on a, in a few days later and see how it's progressing all right it's time for another update it's been uh, several days since we last looked at it so let's look at the wild violet that has not been treated and you can see here it's what it looks like and it's uh, this grass has been mowed recently but you still see it and then i'm gonna go over here to what has been sprayed we see the difference and here we go definitely some stuff happening now that wild violet is not happy you see here it's just working over some of these other weeds now I, let me say wild violet is hard to control okay um, it, it is not a fast weed to die so the fact that it looks all curled up like this is a really good sign because like i said it, it's one of the tougher ones that we deal with so i'm going to keep back keep checking and uh, see if we can observe it because i want to continue to watch this and see how how it, it progresses over time oh here's some more i'm going to just take a look at a little bit more that we sprayed. Again, you just got lots of twisting and curling and leaves facing downward. All good signs to get rid of the wild violet. We'll check back soon. All right, final check on the wild violet. Let's see what it looks like. Probably been two weeks since the initial application, maybe actually a little bit more. Let's check it out. Here's the untreated. Of course, it looks the same still nice and green and let's check out what's been sprayed and see what the damage looks like now there's you know bare patches in this grass that's not from the application that we did you can see the bermuda grass in here is still green but when you compare that with the wild violet i mean look at that one he's not having a good day you can see lots of dying wild violet here so it definitely worked. I mean, you know, not all of it is just totally dead, but I, I think it's mortally wounded, I would call it. So I think it's gonna die out. The Bermuda grass will start filling in. Now there's other problems in this lawn. I mean, it's not like we totally fixed it. You got big clumps of Dallas grass and things like that. But as far as the wild violet, that was the purpose of the video. And you can see if we had to ask this one right here i think he would agree that it definitely worked well in this application
Appreciate you watching the video. I'm Jason Creel. There's hundreds of videos on the channel. If you're in the weed control business, mowing business, want resources for those businesses, go to lawncarelife.com. Subscribe, leave a comment, give me the thumbs up, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye.